All right, I want to make a little video for you guys um, about how to clean copper coins, like King George coppers or colonial coppers. Uh, I did do this uh, video like this a few years ago, and uh, I think it's, it's time to do it again. By the things that I've been uh, seeing on YouTube, people cleaning their coins, and comments I've been reading under some of my videos. Uh, how, how do you clean a coin? How do you clean a copper coin like this? I'm talking about silver. I'm not talking about gold. I'm not talking about a, you know, a mod, something more modern. I'm talking about these colonial coppers in particular. Uh, and this would probably go for like bronze coins as well. Most people, or you see it on YouTube, a lot of people carry a little water bottle with them and they dig it up. They get the coin out of the ground. They chick, 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 cover it with water, hit it with a toothbrush, you know, wipe it off. And, you know, it might turn out great, but usually it's like, I mm, can't really tell what it is. And that's because you've taken away a lot of the clues. You've taken away some of those layers um, that might have helped you identify the coin, if not made a beautiful coin for your collection. What are those layers? I want you to think of these coins as like a little layer cake, okay? You got a layer of dirt that on it when you dig it that is just loose and will fall off. You got a layer of dirt that is stuck to a layer of dirt that is stuck to the patina of the coin. That's usually green. And that patina is stuck to the base metal, which will be a shiny copper color if you over clean it. And we all know what that looks like. Uh, so what layer do you want to keep on your coin? Well, it depends. What layer makes it look the best? Uh, you can stop at any layer. You can go take it right down to the base metal, put it on a wire, you know, wire wheel grinder if you want to. Um, it might look best that way, but you have to decide what layer you want to stop at. Now, if you get your water bottle out and you start squirting it, well, guess what? You just kept about three layers of stuff that might have helped you make a prettier coin. And that's gone forever. You'll never, ever get that back. What am I talking about? First, there is a big layer of dirt that falls off. No problem. Take that dirt off when you find it. Then let it dry because what you're going to have is a layer of dirt that is stuck to the patina. The patina is the rust that's on it and it's that oxidation, the stuff that's green. And that layer of dirt is very important because if you completely take that off and you have a pretty smooth coin, you may not ever be able to tell what the coin is. Never mind, read the date. And that's what happens when you put the water on it. You, you completely take that layer off. You wash it away with that uh, solvent water is a solvent so what i like to do and this is i'm going to show you a video right now of me field cleaning the coin and i have to talk over it because the audio kind of broke for <laughs> that video um i'm going to show you how i feel clean the coin so okay this is the coin as it came out of the ground i mean i did take a little bit of the dirt off of it um but i didn't rub it or put any water on it at this point i'm just going to take my fingernail and kind of scrape at the coin gently flaking off the dried dirt that is attached to the patina that will only take off kind of the looser dirt some of the dirt will remain stuck to the coin now if this was a uh, coin that was poorly struck or kind of smooth you'd really notice a difference in this video but this actually is a pretty really nice coin to begin with um, so you can see it's kind of you can kind of see that it's working out pretty good. There's some good detail there I'm just going to keep working around just flaking it with my fingernail again. The fingernail is pretty soft uh, you, Some people prefer to use toothpicks little pieces of wood or something like that uh, It's just up to you, but you just you just don't want to use a solvent at this point Because we can always use a solvent later. So I'm just going to keep you know kind of rubbing it lightly and, and and using my fingernails on it for a little bit and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get a little bit of light oil actually for my face it's called face oil <laughs> if you can imagine just a little bit of light oil and i'm just going to rub it over the very top of the coin i don't want to soak the coin in i just want to get the very tops of the letters and the figure coated and not the you know not the not the parts that are a little bit more recessed and that will make it really pop and you'll be able to see it and be able to read the date uh, much more likely than if you just put water on it or just dumped it in a bunch of oil you can see it doesn't look too bad all right how's that look so dig it out of the ground get the big chunks off if you want let or not let it dry get the loose dirt off then comes the tricky part, which is you, you don't get to do if you use water. 
is using your fingernail or maybe a, a Q, uh, not a Q-tip, but a toothpick. A lot of people use toothpicks. And you kind of just scrape at it lightly to get that some of that, some of that dirt that's stuck to the patina off. You want to leave a little bit of that dirt on there. You get down to that layer and you can kind of rub it with your thumb. Um, a good thing to use for, you know, put a little oil on it, but don't like dump it in a bunch of olive oil. You can get a little bit of oil off your face like this and kind of rub it a little bit and see what it looks like. And it might, this is where I stopped at with this coin. Sometimes it looks beautiful, okay? Or you might not quite like that. So you take another layer off. So you take all of the dirt off, but you want to leave the patina. Again, if you've already put a solvent on it, water is a solvent, you may take the patina off right away. So you can get all of the dirt off again with your thumbnail or uh, you know, a piece of wood or something, and then take a look at it. You can get a little oil from your face, rub it, and you still might have some wonderful detail. Now comes the part where, well, I don't like the looks of it. It's got dirt on it, and you want to take that stuff off. That's when you can get your water bottle out, chick, 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 scrape it with a toothbrush. That's going to take all of the dirt off of it, and probably most of the patina. The patina is important because that is like the rusty layer that is sitting on top of any detail that you have in that coin. So if you have a coin that's been in circulation a long time or a coin that was very poorly struck and doesn't have strong detail, that patina is gonna show you those little bumps and those little dips. You're gonna be able to see that with the patina. Once you put water on it, that's all gone. You're stuck with just the basic metal. And it might be a beautiful coin or it might not. Now you can even take it a step further, like I say, and you can use a Brillo pad. If you're looking at it and you can't read it still, you can't even tell what it is. Yeah, you can take a Brillo pad, put some dish soap on it, <laughs> rub it in circle, rub it in circle, rub it in circle, flip it over. And sometimes you can see what it is, but it's gonna be kind of a shiny looking new coin, but sometimes that will help. And that's like the ultimate as far as destroying a coin's value, but you might be able to identify it just for your own purposes. Uh, so yeah, so this is the coin now. This is the result of just the fingernail scraping it a little bit um, and using a little face oil just to kind of bring out the highlights. And this is where I'm going to stop. So this is where I'm going to stop with it. But I've actually gone a little too far because I I keep carrying it around because I've been wanting to do this video for the, like a week, so, <laughs> so it's getting pretty warm. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a water and a toothbrush and we're going to clean it with water and toothbrush and i want you to tell me in the video comments if you think it looks better cleaned with a water and a toothbrush and if that's the case well just skip everything i just said and just always hit it with a water and toothbrush but i think most of you are going to agree that i ruined this coin let's find out all right, so here's what we have. We got the coin here, a toothbrush, and a water bottle. And this is kind of a big one because it's actually for the, our cats when they're bad. But most people carry a little one in their pocket. Or a lot of people carry a little one in their digging bag. Up to this point, I have done nothing to this coin that will be as harsh as putting water on it and then using something to remove the water and the dirt, whether it's a toothbrush or just rubbing it with your finger. Okay, so... I want you to look at it because I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to like what's going to happen to it. And this happens to every, just about every coin you see someone clean on YouTube that uses water. This is, this is what they're missing. Okay. Okay. A little water. Let's just let that soak. Through. Actually, you can see, uh, get a little bit of oil on that. <laughs> oil. Okay. So that's the equivalent of hitting it with a mister. And let's get a toothbrush. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, Bobby. Look at that. Now, sometimes it actually can look better. And that's not a problem because this is the um, last stop you have before you hit it with a grinder. But always remember, you can't go back once you do this. This is the absolute last step. Okay, let's see what we got. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. So got some dirt on it there. Uh, got a little, little stuff there. What I'm gonna do is let that dry. Uh, get a, a paper towel and we'll dry it off real good. And we'll take a close-up look at it. This is dirt from my fingers. And uh, get a couple pictures. And uh, see if you like that better than... Well, yeah, I can already tell you, you don't. So you can almost start to get hard to read the date. Let's let it dry and we'll take a look at it then. Okay, what do you think? This is what it looks like after um, we just clean it with a toothbrush and water. A simple 
fuel cleaning. You can see the letters, you know, they're still pretty strong, but we've lost a lot of detail. It's a lot harder to see the profile. Uh, looking on the back, still got some dirt on it. I could clean it some more if you want, but we're already losing some of the letters and the date is much harder to read now. Let's put some oil on. Let's put some oil on it. What do you say? I'll get some. I'll get some oil, because a lot of people say, "Well, if you put oil on it, it might look better." Well, let's put some oil on. It, see what happens. So I gotta get the pictures. Uh, a couple pictures of these first. So just give me a second. So let's go ahead and put some oil on it because um, that does stuff to the coin too. Now, putting oil on a coin that hasn't been dug and does not have a dirt encrusted patina like this one did when it was pretty um, doesn't necessarily hurt a coin. Like if you're a coin collector and you have coins that have not been buried in the ground, and I have a product here that is exactly uh, used for exactly that. It's called coin oil. I've had it for about 40 years because I don't use it because I dig coins out of the ground. Here's the coin that I think is already well on its way to being, um, well, it's sad, actually. <laughs> it'd be, hey, listen to this. When I made uh, the video like this the last time, there were a lot of people that were very upset that I ruined a coin by well, putting water on it and hitting it with a toothbrush like most YouTubers do out in the field. Um, but... I, I know I, ruined, I knew I was going to ruin it, and I can tell it's already ruined. And I think it's more important for me to impart the knowledge to you guys, especially you new, the new ones out there that really don't know any better, uh, so you don't ruin the ones you find, okay? Because um, they're precious finds, they really are. I mean, that patina took two, over 200 years to form, and I just took it all away with a toothbrush and water, and you, you saw the consequences of that. And now you're going to see the consequences of putting oil on it, which probably won't ruin it too much more, but it's already too late. Now, this is a type of oil. It's actually called coin oil. And um, I've had this probably for 30 years, so I'm sure it's still okay. But most people just use like vegetable oil or um, uh, olive oil or something like that. But this is for putting on coins, uh, primarily coins that aren't dug. You know, <laughs> get the lid off. Yeah, here we go. Because, um, you know, again, this coin was dug, it has this dirt patina on it, and it's a, lot, it's a lot of different characteristics than the coin that's been sitting in someone's drawer for 200 years or sitting in a collection for 200 years. All right, what do you say? A little bit of coin oil. Take it down on both sides. And I'm not saying, you know, you're not going to like the coin like this, but I can already tell we're not going to have the detail. I don't know what makes this uh, oil special, except that it has a lot of wicked chem has chemicals in it. I don't know what that is, but all right. It's actually not going to look too bad, I don't think, but it's not going to be uh, the coin that we had. Let's see what we have. What do you think? Is that better than no oil? Is that better than, um, you know, the patina we had when we first started? I can still read the date. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I, I don't know. I just I don't like that as much as uh, the coin we first started. And again, this has this is, has really good strikes on it. I mean, it's you know everything everything's it's not all worn down. If it had been a worn down coin, it would have been better probably for this demonstration because there wouldn't be anything on it now. But um, I still think that's going to look worse, in my opinion. What's your opinion? Seriously, let me know. Do you think this video makes sense to you? Does this coin look better now than it did before I did this work on it? I don't know. Some people might think so. I'm not one of them. We'll see you on the next one. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it and keep it for eternity mother earth she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek mother earth she ain't saying exactly what she's saving where it is or what it might be mother earth you are my lady my big